Europe and North America are seeing cases of monkeypox. The virus originated in Africa, but scientists are baffled as new outbreaks show no obvious route of transmission. Kim Yon Sung reports. A new concern for health officials the spread of monkeypox. As we speak, our colleagues around the world are responding to outbreaks of Ebola in DRC, monkeypox, and hepatitis of unknown cause. Well, they haven't told me the level of exposure yet, but it is something that everybody should be concerned about. But it is a concern in the sense that if it were to spread, it's consequential. That's all they've told me. Symptoms include fever, chills, and lesions on the face and genitals. Until recently, most infections occurred in Central and Western Africa. But in the past week, Europe and North America have been seeing outbreaks. According to the World Health Organization, 92 cases of monkeypox have been found in 12 countries as of last Saturday. Norway and Israel found their first cases on Saturday as well. And 28 suspected cases are under investigation. This is not something that the general population should be worried about. We need to investigate, we need to limit the transmission and, and protect people, but this, this is not going to be the next COVID. Monkeypox is not a new virus. It was first discovered in the 1950s among monkeys. And the first case of human transmission was found in 1970. The disease is usually contracted through bites, scratches, or from the meat of wild game. And although person-to-person -person transmissions are rare, they can happen through close contact or with an exchange of fluids or contaminated items. But the recent strains have been found among people who have not been in touch with African wild game and who hadn't visited Africa. This has left scientists baffled. What's unusual is to have these numerous cities, two continents um, so far involved at the same time. Fortunately, to date, there have been no reported deaths. The reported U.S. and European cases are a type of monkeypox that has milder symptoms. But with no proven treatment and an unclear route of transmission, scientists are still concerned. And according to President Biden on Sunday, scientists are working hard to figure out how best to respond. Kim Yansung, Arirang News.